Once upon a time, in a quiet village, lived a wise elder known for his clarity and stillness. People called him the Zen master of life. One morning, a young seeker, filled with questions and the burdens of existence, came to visit. The Zen master greeted him with a serene smile and asked, Why do you look so heavy, young man? Master, I feel like I'm struggling to be fully alive. I read so much about motivation, setting agendas, and working hard, but it feels off. Smiling, the Zen master began, Uh, agendas and motivations. Let me tell you a story. Do you see that grasshopper there, hopping freely from leaf to leaf? It has no agenda. It simply lives, hopping as a full-fledged grasshopper should. But what about us humans? We have jobs, responsibilities, the young man interrupted. The master continued. Ah, yes, we've made things complex, haven't we? You see, the beauty of a tree, a bird, or a worm is in their simplicity. They live not for tomorrow or yesterday, but for today. They're not burdened by agendas. They simply are. And yet, Master, many have come before us, full of agendas, full of life. Where are they now? Ah, indeed, said the Master. They've returned to the earth, now a part of the soil that nurtures new life. It's a cycle, like a fleeting spark in the great fire of existence. So brief, yet so bright. But what should I do? How should I live? The young man persisted. Look at it this way, began the Zen master. You are like a bird singing in the morning. The song isn't motivated by anything. It's just a full expression of the bird's aliveness, a hymn to the present moment. Confused, the young man said, but what if I don't know my song? What if I don't know how to live fully? The master leaned in. This is where you must let go of motivation, agendas, and the Western constructs that urge you to push and strive. Instead, be fully alive in the now. When you are, doing what's needed becomes as natural as breathing. So, you're saying I should live without ambition? No, ambition is but a small stream in the vast river of life. The question isn't about doing less, but about being more. When you are fully yourself, you will naturally contribute to the world, effortlessly and joyfully. That sounds freeing, but how can I achieve that? We are taught to aim for success, to reach for the sky, the Zen master chuckled. Ah, the sky. Do you think the sky is reaching for anything? It simply is, and yet it embraces everything. Clouds, sun, moon, stars. Be like the sky, young man. The sky is never incomplete, never needing to be something it's not. In other words, the master continued, don't suffocate your life with too many thoughts or plans. Your life is a brief sparkle in the vast cosmos. In that sparkling, find your aliveness, not in calculations and worries. If you do so, you'll realize that life, in all its complexities, is quite simple. You don't need to be motivated to live. You just need to live. But isn't life hard? Isn't it full of struggles and obstacles? The Zen master laughed. Oh, you think so because you've made it that way. Have you noticed when you're unhappy, time drags on forever? And when you're joyful, it zips by. Hardship or ease is a state of mind. The young man looked relieved yet thoughtful. So, what's the secret to a full life? The master concluded, The secret is that there's no secret. Just be fully alive, and life will unfold naturally. Think of it as inner engineering aligning yourself so every aspect of your being serves your aliveness, not your fears. The young man bowed, lighter in spirit and clearer in mind. As he left, the Zen master looked at the sky, limitless and embracing, a mirror to his teachings, and whispered, Ah, to be as open and free as the sky. And so, life in the quiet village continued, ever transient, yet ever the same each being living as a brief yet full-fledged sparkle in the endless sky of existence. In conclusion, living a full, joyful life is not about motivation, but about being as alive as you can be. In doing so, you naturally contribute what you can to the world, just as any other creature does. The key lies in shedding your limitations and embracing life in all its fullness, understanding that you are, at the end of the day, just a piece of life in a vast universe.